Hello viewers, this is Pranay Sai and welcome to another lecture from General English. Rearrangement of Sentences Rearrangement of Sentences In this type of questions, you will be given the first and the last statement and the in-between letters are given in jumbled order. Now we need to arrange them in a correct order. Now then, here is the first statement. Different countries show different patterns of growth. And the last statement says that compared to this in Europe, the growth rate is low. If you can observe from P, Q, R, S, Q has some, S has some others, P has many others. Now let's scan the options. Let's try with option A first, P, Q, S, R. After statement 1, different countries show different patterns of growth. If it is P first, it would be many others have a high birth rate with a low death rate. As soon as statement 1 is completed, statement P doesn't become meaningful. So option A is wrong. What about option B now? Q, S, P, R. S1, Q, S, P, R and lastly S6. Let's check out this order. Different countries show different patterns of growth. First Q. Some have a high birth rate and still have a high death rate. Then S. Some others like the European nations have a low birth rate and low death rate. Then comes P. Many others have a high birth rate with a low death rate. And lastly R. The developing countries show the most rapid growth rate. And finally statement 6. Compared to this in Europe, the growth rate is low. So after statement 1, statement Q comes next in the order. Here we have some at the beginning. Then statement S comes next in the order where it has some others. Then comes P. Many others have a high birth rate with a low death rate. Finally R. The developing countries show the most rapid growth rate. Let's check whether S6 or statement 6 is in sync with R because statement 6 should come after R. Compared to this in Europe, the growth rate is low. Compared to what? The developing countries. So option B is the right answer. Here is another question. Statement 1 says that for some time in his youth, Abraham Lincoln was manager of a shop. Statement 6 says that Never before had Lincoln had so much time for reading as he had then. Let's scan the options. Let's try option A first. For some time in his youth, Abraham Lincoln was manager of a shop. Then comes Q. Young Lincoln's way of keeping shop was entirely unlike anyone else. These two are in sequence. Let's try option P then. Then a chance customer would come. Then comes S. He used to lie full length on the counter of the shop, eagerly reading a book. When a customer would come to the shop, the response of Abraham Lincoln was not justified in option A. So option A is wrong. Now let's try option B, QSPR. For some time in his youth, Abraham Lincoln was manager of a shop. Young Lincoln's way of keeping shop was entirely unlike anyone else. Then comes S. He used to lie full length on the counter of the shop, eagerly reading a book. Then comes P. Then a chance customer would come. And finally R. Lincoln would jump up and attend to his needs and then revert to his needs. And finally statement 6. Never before had Lincoln had so much time for reading as he had then. If you can observe option B, that is Q, S, P, R, follows a sequence. For some time in his youth, Abraham Lincoln was manager of a shop. His way of keeping shop was entirely unlike anyone else. What was he doing at the shop? He used to lie full length on the counter of the shop, eagerly reading a book. Then what if a customer would come? He would jump up and attend to his needs and then revert to his needs. His needs is reading a book. He would do that after attending the customer needs. So this follows a sequence. 
Therefore, answer is option B. Now then, statement 1 says that a gentleman who lived alone always had two plates placed on the table at dinner time. And last statement says that in this way, the cat showed her gratitude to her master. The gentleman who lived alone had two plates. One plate was for himself and other was for his cat. So, statement Q can be the continuation of statement 1. He used to give the cat a piece of meat from his own plate. Statement S is the continuation of statement Q. One day, just as he sat down to dine, the cat rushed into the room. P comes next after S. And finally, she dropped a mouse into her own plate and another into her master's plate. Finally comes R. And lastly, statement 6 at the end. In this way, the cat showed her gratitude to her master. So, statement R and S6, that is statement 6, are connected. Therefore, option is C. The answer is C. Because a gentleman had two plates placed on his table at dinner time, one for himself, another for his cat. He used to give the cat a piece of meat from his own plate. One day, he, when he sat down to dine, the cat rushed into the room and the cat bought a mouse into her own plate and another into her master's plate. In this way, the cat showed her gratitude to her master. Therefore, Q, S, P, R, that is option C, is the right answer.